the Secretary of the Interior commissioned the legendary Ansel Adams to photograph the National Park 75 years ago. Ever since, there's been a reverence and a sense of responsibility around the job. The National Park Service hired a photographer this year to document the human touch on the American landscape. One of his first assignments is a little known part of Ellis Island. The baggage and dormitory building is tucked behind the famous Great Hall. As part of our series, America the Beautiful, Jim Axelrod went there to meet a man who hopes his work will reveal more of the fabric of our nation. Jim, good morning. Well, good morning. Air Force veteran Jarob Ortiz is a native of Wisconsin, and eight years ago, Jarob discovered photography, which became something of an obsession for him. Now, this obsession led to a dream job, making sure the past is preserved for the future. While at first look, his workspace doesn't look so dreamy. An area like this, mm -hmm. is this a challenge for you? This area is very much a challenge for me. This building, abandoned for 60 years, boarded up and filled with debris, is actually supplying photographer Jarob Ortiz with both a challenge. You've got to make something interesting when it's actually nothing but big, wide open, empty space. Exactly. And some powerful inspiration. When you're taking a photograph, and especially the way that the public consumes photography these days, it's all instant, real quick. So what you have to do is try to find a composition, an angle that you know is going to capture people and interest them. That's where the light comes into play. Usually you can play light to draw on people's emotion and bring them through a photograph the way that you want to do. Ortiz is snapping his way through a forgotten corner of Ellis Island, far from the splendor of the Great Hall, where 12 million immigrants entered the country. This room in particular, very evocative for you. Whether it's rusted mattress sterilizers. Is there a way you can take a picture in 2016 which gives us a sense of the challenges of a hundred years before? That's the hard part, because I don't think you can really capture that essence. That's more up to the imagination. Or 80-year-old graffiti. Carved into the wall here, Paul Ketterman, March 20th, 1935. Mm -hmm. That must grab your eye. Well, absolutely. I mean, because this is a physical remembrance of this particular person, and obviously, he thought it was important, and he knew that there was something big happening here. Ortiz is making sure all parts of the immigrants' experience at Ellis Island are remembered. I definitely think about the emotions. I just can't imagine what it must have been like to go through that boat ride. And coming off on that port, it inspires me to do the best I can, because I think it's important that these stories get told. Ellis Island is important to American history because immigration is important to American history. You know, Historian history Kenneth C. Davis. That. One in three Americans is descended from somebody who walked through these halls. It's an astonishing idea. But history is not about dates and battles and speeches. It's about real people doing real things. Ortiz is the newest member of an exclusive club of American photographers, those like Ansel Adams, who captured our national parks for the Library of Congress. And just like Adams in the 1940s, Jarob Ortiz uses a large format camera. It's really a control thing, I just have to be honest. It's like if you're really meticulous and you just want to have all control over every single aspect of your image, this is the camera to use. Large format cameras are old school. They are old school, but they're still used today. The resolution you get out of that piece of film will blow away any digital photograph. Really? It can't even come close. Each shot can take up to an hour and a half to set up in light, a process involving a lot of math and precision, all for just one split second, burned into film forever. What I'm doing is just trying to capture the essence of history and inform the public of what's happened in these locations with my photographs. And why is that important? because I think a lot of people forget about where we came from all too easy. It's what shapes us. It's how we know where we got to. Ortiz was drawn to this job precisely because it's focused on photographing buildings that are part of our national parks and not just landscapes. From the beginning of his photography career, he's been passionate about documenting the industrial Midwest 
and sees this job as an extension of that work, making sure we don't forget the lives we've led in the past. Wow, what a great piece. What a great photographer. It's amazing that digital again. photography cannot replicate that. The old still, school. See, the old school. still worth going to the old yeah. school sometimes. That's right. <laughs> well, old said. school's good. Yeah, yeah. love it. Yeah. I'm a student there. Well, yeah. yeah, me too. I went to old school. <laughs> I like old school. You like old school, Charlie? I do. Yeah. I, do. I, I, I like new school as well. Though. Yes, that's true. <laughs> that, that is true.